excuse me, sir. I'm trying to sell this, man. God bless you. Hi, excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm trying to sell this mystery box for five dollars. Uh, do you think you would buy it? Uh, I don't know. I don't even think I have five dollars. Um, do you want to check your pockets, maybe? I only have a dollar, I think. You only have a dollar, and would you help me? Still help me with that? Mm, yeah, you could have it. No way. Yeah. What made you want to help me? Um, you want others what you want done to yourself, right? <laughs> right, right. It's more like a karma. You do good, good comes back to you. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind me asking, like, where do you live, you and your, your baby? Um, really, I just go here and there around the city. When you say here and there, like, are you, like, sleeping on the on the streets? Yeah. or? Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, like, how long have you been living like that? Um, about six years now. Six years. Yeah. And if you don't mind sharing your story, what exactly happened? How did you become homeless? Uh, my, my girlfriend got hit by a car right here on the street. And, uh, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Where is she now? In heaven. <gasps> oh, my God. She, oh, my God. I'm so sorry, man. I yeah. can't believe it. And and then since then you just been out here roaming just around. just yeah, yeah. It, it, it and it was probably so much depressing what you have gone through bro I can't even imagine you know people going through that and um, honestly how I can understand this because I've been grown up by a single mom my dad you know passed away when I was eight years old and since then I can imagine like how my mom has gone through like being single you know like yeah. and she still hasn't been with anybody. You know and respect for her respect for you man like you know but sometimes we be human bro like we cannot understand what's yeah. god's plan you know yeah. sometimes these good people they go away sooner because god wants them there in heaven like yeah. you said in heaven you know yeah. sometimes i i question god why did you take away my dad but then sometimes i think you know what maybe he was such a good person yeah. that in this bad world that we're living in yeah, exactly. people like god didn't want him to be around yeah, around exactly. people like that um, so what would be a message for people right now that are feeling lonely or people that are being like, you know, lost their loved ones? What would you say to them? I would say, uh, get your knees and pray because someone does love you out there. Get your knees and pray. Get your knees and pray. Right. Wow. That is so deep, man. And, and a lot of people that actually do not believe in God or they have lost their trust in God after losing their loved ones. Yeah. What would you say to them? I don't know. I just, I just say pray, man. Just pray, prayer to, is a powerful thing, you know. Pr prayer is very powerful. Yeah. And and just what we were just talking about recently, you know, that the plans that God has, we as a human cannot understand. Sometimes we will blame God. Why would you do that? But we cannot understand his what he he has planned for us, you know. Yeah. So a lot of times we we as a human make a lot of mistakes. We all make you know our sinners. But sometimes the good people go at a young age because God needs them there, you know, yeah. to run the heavens. So, so totally get that. Um, let me ask you. So, since you're saying you're living on the street, where do you usually sleep? Like, do you have like a tent? Somebody across, helps you. With? Across the street in this field. Okay. And is there like, do you have like a tent or yeah. something? Yeah. Uh, are those tents like rainproof and the rain comes or no? Um, some of them, but I just put a tarp over it so it doesn't leak and shit. Oh, so you put a tarp over yeah. it. Okay. And as far as the food wise, is somebody helping you out with food and stuff? Well, usually I fly a sign and, and make enough money for me and my dog. Okay. So, okay. So you get him food and yourself food yeah. just from the sign. Yeah. Do you get a lot of rejection from people? Has people been of rejecting course. a lot? Of course. Of course? Yeah. And, and how do you feel about that? Like, what would you say to people that when you see somebody with a sign, what would you say to them? Like, not to be I mean, rejecting. I'm, I'm not. I'm not proud of flying a sign. I mean, I, of course, I don't like it. Of course, I would like to have a job and do this and that. But you know, us as humans, we have addictive personalities, and and by having that, you get stuck in a rut or stuck in in this in this way of life a little bit. And, and you know, until I'm ready to get out of it, it's just what I'm going to keep doing. You know. Right. But, until your mind is ready, yeah. and you're like, you know what? I'm done with this life. Yeah. I want to start a new life. And, and, and people are being judgy, you know, people think yeah. just because you're on the streets is because maybe you were doing drugs or maybe you're doing bad things. But again, you have a different story. You yeah. just said that, you know, you lost your partner and that's that's the biggest damage that somebody can have is losing your partner or your parents. Right. Yeah. That's the biggest damage that you can have on your mind, your body, your soul. It's a big damage. People don't understand yeah. that. Um, and then you don't want to you don't feel like eating. You don't feel like sleeping. You don't feel like doing anything 
after losing your loved one so people are not understanding that now and you would would you say to the people like don't judge somebody don't judge a book by its cover you know yeah. just because somebody's standing with a with a sign or somebody's yeah. asking you for money go ahead and help them don't just think just because they're doing bad things that's why they ended up that that's what people think you know yeah and and i i'm a human i used to think the same way but now you know hearing your stories hearing other people's story it gives me more motivation like no not everybody's bad and you guys are the nicest people on earth you guys help out each other like i bought food for this guy you know like a week ago you know the first thing he did offer you some no he offered like all oh, the yeah, people yeah. that were around him he yeah. shared his food right away yeah. instead of being selfish and mean and keeping the food to himself yeah. he called his friends or people that were around him. he's like come yeah, yeah. like sit with me and eat like you guys are always helping and you only had a dollar right yeah if you had more would you give it to me yeah see and what were you gonna do with that last dollar that you had uh, were you gonna go probably like buy food or yeah, something I think I was gonna buy soda or something soda or something right and you still decided to help me instead so that shows like your personality the type of heart you have is you have a giving heart not a lot of people have a heart like that especially the the poor people i feel like they are more giving than the rich people yeah. isn't that true yeah the people that are driving the nicest car they don't want to even yeah. give a dollar to somebody yeah. and they put you down saying that why don't you go work why don't you do this yeah. all right i know i talk too much man but i mean i loved hearing your story and i wanted to you know share this with you so this this is this is the this is a box and it's it's not a, a regular box i want you to turn it around and see what it says on it wow and i want you to open there's a note actually in there so if you can go ahead and read that note for me yep so stay here right here i'm gonna go ahead and bring you an envelope and i got something in there for you okay so stay right here man here you go uh, i got something for you in there I know, man. God yeah thank you <laughs> thank you yeah of course man what would you do with it start a new life start a new life man all right brother yeah. and and just just be kind just how you are just how you decide to help me I want to give a message to people like hey keep helping each other even though you have less money just like how he decided to help me you guys should be helping each other out too you know all right man god bless you okay Thank you.